Hey YouTube, what is going on? Carter here. I have got another video for you. It is a switchblade, as you can see right here, or a stiletto, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is an automatic knife made in Montiago, Italy by AGA Campolin. It is their Batwing Swing Guard model right there. Should be around 18 inches in length, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to double check that here in a second. Features natural stag handles, nickel silver bolsters, stainless steel blade, steel batwing guards right there. Absolutely beautiful piece. It's a uh, lockback knife right here. I've wanted one of these for uh, the last couple years and I never picked one up. They are somewhat pricey, uh, but I came across a seller who is selling them um, at a discounted rate because of uh, defects, which by the way, even if you buy them brand new as new, it's very likely you could get some of these defects. Those include uh, just the gaps right there you can see. Whether those were that way when it was put together or if the climate change caused them to bow, um, that is, you know, whenever you're dealing with natural materials, it is a concern. Uh, wood and stag and bone it does swell and shrink with uh, different temperatures but let's open this baby up kind of hard to do on this little camera here because it is such a massive massive knife you can see right there just beautiful uh, the swing guards I'll run you through how those work you can see how they're simply pinned right there so when it's in the closed position they are to the side and then when you open it they spread out like that dagger ground blade polished you can see uh, the marking right here it says AGA Campolin Montiago Italy 2013 so this is a 2013 model can't even fit it on my camera right there let's get a measurement maybe it's not 18 Nope, it's not. It's 13. My bad. Um, 18 would be a monstrous knife indeed. Uh, so yeah, take that back. 13 inches, which uh, is plenty big for me, especially uh, with such a... It's, it's not only long, and no, I'm not talking about wieners here, guys. Uh, it's not only long, but it's also girthy. You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Uh, this thing weighs quite a bit. Let's actually get a weight on here not that it really matters because you're not really going to carry something like this uh, but just out of curiosity 13.4 ounces it is a beefy 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 knife um, I wish I could get some footage of it opening without it hitting my tripod you just cannot really get the full effect of this on this camera I guess I could uh, back out, but uh, that would mess my whole setup up. Setup up. But uh, this has the slanted bolsters, top and bottom, which is a little bit different than what you typically see. Usually they're straight across, um, but they did produce certain variants with the slanted bolsters. It has a huge nickel silver button right there. Very cool. No safety. No safety on this at all. Let's get a close-up of the scales. I never used to like stag. Um, in fact, it was my least favorite natural knife material. And now I can't seem to get enough of it. I am really digging the stag. Very nice. Handmade in uh, Italy. Uh, because of that, you do get the imperfections, like the, the gaps. Um, there is blade play left and right up and down it kind of just comes with the territory if I wanted I could uh, try and pound this pin a little bit more and tighten that up I don't think I will um, like I said it it doesn't really matter and um, you know it, it really is just kind of part of the game when you're buying these Italian stilettos you know they're not put together with screws and brass, uh, phosphor bronze washers Everything is done by hand. Everything is pinned together. Um, it's all hand fitted and measured. Um, so it's just, you know, and that's how they've always been made. Um, so when you buy Italian style switchblades like this, 
uh, the name of the game is tradition. You know, they're made how they were made years and years and years and years and years ago by hand with basic tools, basic materials. Um, here, let me let me lift this camera up so you can. Man, does that just look cool or what? Swing guards are by far my favorite of the switchblades. Just love them. Let's do let's do one more before I cut the video off here. You can see how big that is in my hand. Just cool. All right, guys. So that is a look at my latest toy right here. My only Italian style switchblade in my collection right now, which is pretty sad. Uh, but it is, it is a beauty. All right, guys. Take it easy. I'm out of here.